and welcome you all dear students today's topic is tele traffic performance loss system in tandem and queuing systems from the exam point of view we can expect a short note on each of this topic as well as uh, we can expect the derivation related to delayed system so we'll start the session with tele traffic performance we have already studied two things two concepts that is gos grade of system it is basically the probability related to call getting blocked or call getting lost due to congestion in the system so in a simple language hum log aise bol sakte hain grade of service matlab it is the term related to congestion or uh, network congestion uh, then trunks required trunk is basically a technology which is used to handle many clients hum log simple language mein aise bolenge trunks is related to the number of channels it is denoted by n so i have drawn one graph for gos grade of service 0.002 this is the graph for tele traffic performance actual requirement kya hai jaise dekho a uh, number of trunks agar zyada hai so there are less probability less chances that all the trunks are busy at a time to sab trunks agar busy nahi hai to call can be easily completed on the contrary if number of trunks in the system are less then there are more chances more probability that at the time whenever you you will make a call at that time all the trunks might be busy so your call may be lost or your call may be put in the queue and even though after some time uh that any trunk will not be free then call will be lost so this graph indicates basically relationship between average traffic per trunk we know that traffic is measured in our lungs denoted by e then total traffic denoted by a and number of trunks required for example if total traffic is 4 our lungs and related to this 11 trunks are required i have shown this by black colored pen okay. so number of trunks required are 11 for total traffic 4 our lung then if you measure average traffic per trunk then from this graph it is 0.37 our lung so this is one reading for 4 our uh, our lung total traffic 11 trunks are required and average traffic per trunk is 0.37 hr long consider one more reading referring to this graph jaise maine bataya ye graph tele traffic performance measurement karne ke liye use karte hain jaise dekho yahan red ink se jo dikha hai hai if total traffic is 12 and required number of trunks are 24 then average traffic per trunk ye red ink se jo dikha hai that is 0.52 hr long so it clearly these readings and this graph clearly indicates that as you go on increasing the number of trunks then the occupancy becomes greater that means occupancy becomes uh, 0.52 compared to the earlier case which was 0.37 hr long and it is for the same gos that is grade of service which is 0.002 but if the number of trunks are increased then it means that you are handling a larger area larger traffic compared to the smaller uh, area in that case there can be the problem of overloading and it will affect the gos of system and if grade of service is affected then the chances of lost call will be more uh, let us discuss it with some mathematical analysis jaise dekho in many cases sequential arrangement is used iska kya matlab hai initial traffic is checked then it is applied to trunk 1 agar trunk 1 full ho gaya puri tarah se busy ho gaya then remaining traffic is transferred to trunk 2 and so on iska immediate disadvantage kya hai last trunk will be almost free or it will contain minimum amount of traffic compared to the earlier trunks now we have arlong's lost call formula uh, arlong's lost call formula it is b which is equals to e 1 comma n a a is the capital a is the traffic upon which is a raised to n n represents number of trunks upon n factorial divided by summation k is equals to 0 to n a raised to k upon 
k factorial now if i am talking about trunk 1 then i need to put n is equals to 1 so in this case if you put n is equals to 1 you will get e 1 comma 1 of a because i am putting n is equals to 1 so this equation becomes a raised to 1 upon 1 factorial very simple n ke badle mein 1 put kar rahe divided by summation k is equals to 0 to 1 kyunki n ka value 1 hai a raised to k upon k factorial ab ye simplify karte we know that 1 factorial is 1 a raised to 1 is a so it becomes a divided by summation k is equals to 0 to 1 a raised to k upon k factorial. Now, let us expand this summation to simplify this equation further. So, I will do it over here. So, the equation can be written as E11 of a is equals to a upon ye summation expand karenge, pehle k ka value 0 put karenge, fir 1 put karenge. Jaha jaha k hai, maha pehle 0 put karna hai. So, this is this is k factorial this is also k factorial so if you put k is equals to 0 then you will get a raised to 0 upon 0 factorial plus a raised to 1 upon 1 factorial so a raised to 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 so it becomes a upon 1 plus a this is the value of e 1 1 of a by making use of Erlang's lost call formula. So it is a upon 1 plus a. Now the total traffic which is transferred or overloaded from trunk 1 to trunk 2 that we need to calculate. So traffic overflow. Traffic overflow ka matlab hai trunk 1 bg ho gaya hai so we will transfer the tra traffic to trunk 2 because this is a sequential arrangement hai. so traffic overflow can be given as a into a is the uh, total traffic a in, into this value e 1 comma 1 of a so it becomes a into a upon 1 plus a so it is a square upon 1 plus a this is the traffic overflow from trunk 1 to trunk 2. It is overflow traffic. Matlab, trunk 1 BJ is le traffic is transferred to trunk 2. So this is also called lost traffic for trunk 1. Last lost traffic for trunk 1. Kyunki ye trunk 2 may transfer ho gaya hai. So we can well say like this: the total traffic handled by trunk 1 will be total traffic offered matlab main aise likhta hu offered traffic total traffic offered is denoted by a minus lost traffic very simple logic dekho trunk 1 se trunk 2 ko traffic ja raha hai what was total offered traffic it was a माइनस लॉस ट्रैफिक हमने अभी अभी ये कैलकुलेशन किया लॉस ट्रैफिक मतलब ट्रंक 1 से ट्रंक 2 को कितना ट्रैफिक सेंड किया गया दैट इज a स्क्वायर अपॉन 1 plus a सो इट बिकम्स a स्क्वायर अपॉन 1 plus a लेट अस सिंपलीफाई दिस इक्वेशन मैथमेटिकली सो इट बिकम्स a plus a स्क्वायर आई एम टेकिंग एलसीएम a इनटू दिस टर्म माइनस a स्क्वायर अपॉन 1 plus a so it is a upon 1 plus a. Next part is loss system in tandem. The meaning of word tandem is, this word tandem is links are connected one behind the other. As a social simple language mein bahut sare links ek ke baad ek connect ke. So this is the uh, tandem. We have to calculate the performance of loss systems in tandem. Simplicitically, we will consider two links. Consider so, let us consider two links having grade of service B1 and B2 respectively. Then, we will also assume that offered traffic to this system which is consisting of two links for that system 
offer traffic is let us say A. Then we can write the equation of traffic offered to second link. It is given by A into 1 minus B1. Do links say so it will be 1 minus B1. B1 is GOS, grid of a service for link 1. A is the total offered traffic. But actually the traffic traffic reaching at destination will be calculated using this value matlab jo traffic offer kiya gaya to the second link from the first link so this term i will write it as it is a into 1 minus b1 into the second term 1 minus b2 because after second link which since since hum log, uh, since we are just considering two links after second link the traffic will be off offered to the destination so it is 1 minus b2 for the second link so let us simplify this equation. I will keep A as it is. Just take multiplication of these two brackets. So one say multiply karing to 1 minus B2 minus B1 minus minus plus or jayega plus B1 into B2. So this is the total traffic reaching at the de destination. In this case, in case of a tandem system, the overall GOS, that is overall grade of service. Sir, do link hum log consider kar So in this case, we have assumed that GOS for link 1 is B1, GOS for link 2 is B2. So overall GOS is simply addition of the two, that is B1 plus B2. Agar N, capital N links use kar rahe hum log, then overall GOS is given by summation k is equals to 1 to n b k both simple hai. addition of all gos will be the overall gos like in this system k uh kuch drawbacks as i say tandem mein, uh, links use karne ke. so what are the drawbacks first drawback is jo gos hum log calculate kar rahe hai, that is grade of service it is usually giving an idea of probability of lost call or blocked call due to network congestion. Ye calculate kaise karte? It is calculated during the busy hour. Matlab, har ek link ka busy hour calculate karte aur wahan pe jo calculation hai, that is the value of GOS. But if there are many links, busy hour of every link will be different. So this parameter is not considered in this calculation. This is the drawback of loss system in the tandem. Second drawback is, ye first drawback ho gaya. Second uh, drawback is, जैसे कोई भी नेटवर्क का ट्रैफिक का कैलकुलेशन करते हैं टेली ट्रैफिक का कैलकुलेशन करते हैं सो इनिशियली द सिस्टम इज डिजाइंड बाय कंसीडरिंग द फोरकास्ट मतलब बाय कंसीडरिंग द प्रोबेबिलिटी दिस मच ट्रैफिक विल बी देयर आफ्टर फ्यू डेज और आफ्टर फ्यू आवर्स लेट अस से फॉर सिंपलिसिटी इफ द फोरकास्ट इज रॉन्ग और इट गेट्स रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम रीजंस then the calculated GOS will be affected. So these are the drawbacks of this system. Next part is second Erlang distribution which requires queuing systems. From the exam point of view, you can expect the question like this, a short note on queuing systems or explanation of second Erlang distributions or assumptions made for second Erlang distribution. So this is the list of assumptions. First assumption is pure chance traffic, second statistical equilibrium, third full availability. These first three assumptions are same as the lost call system which I already covered in this first video, mein, lost call system. Mein. So I am not going to talk about this because it already has already <coughs> In all the three, first three cases, no queue is required because uh, the uh, uh, traffic is not overloaded and uh, the trunks or links are available. The fourth is most important assumption that is a queuing system. What is queuing system? There are two parts. One is if the traffic is overloaded uh, and if uh, or in another language traffic offered is A and number of available trunks are N. If the number of available trunks are less and traffic is more in such cases first chance is that the call may be lost second you can put the call in a queue. Just a diagram. This is the offered traffic. 
if the trunks are not free, we have let us say n number of servers or n number of trunks. If all the trunks are busy, in that case, the call which is made is kept in the queue. इसके लिए कुछ memory system भी use करेंगे storage करने के लिए. जैसे देखो हम लोग तब बहुत बार ऐसे होता है कि call करते हैं तो call is not getting connected for certain time period. That means your call is in placed in the queue. So call will be placed in the queue and whenever any one of the trunks is free then that call will be completed making use of that trunk so this is the fourth assumption for a uh, second arlange distribution let us say x represents total number of calls in the system n represents number of trunks since x is representing number of calls and n representing number of trunks we have to consider less than or greater than equality between the two so for a second arlong distribution which is also called m oblique m oblique n system we will consider two cases two conditions condition 1 x less than or equals to n many meaning likh ke rakhe x aur n ke x less than or equals to n very simple logic x ke total number of calls in the system wo kam hai compared to the trunks available that means some trunks some links are free so call can be easily handled so there are no chances that the call will be blocked or uh, will be lost In this case, probability is given by P of x is a raised to x a is the total uh, uh, traffic offer upon x factorial P of zero. P of zero is state probability at term zero. Second condition, x less than or equals to n. Again, straightforward. If x that is number of calls in the system are more than the available trunks, that means some calls must be kept in the queue because there are uh, no trunks available to handle such calls. so this is the equation to calculate the probability of x and uh, for the condition x less than or equals to n and the state probability at term 0 is given by p of 0 which is the appropriate formula to calculate the state probability so this is about the second arlong distribution so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video